and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code PULA at checkout for 20% off your order. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm gonna be going over what you need to be doing in Madden before the Christmas promo comes out. Now, the other variant I did of this was with coins. Now, there's gonna be, in general, what you wanna be doing in this final week. And it's not just Christmas, we also have Series 4 coming. Series 4 is confirmed for the next Friday. Not today, but the following Friday coming. So, we do already know what's expected with that. So, I'm gonna go over kind of what you wanna be doing in this final week, what I'm kind of doing to wrap up my last week before we get into the Christmas promo and Series 4. There's quite a few things to go over in this video. But, guys, before we get into that video, do not forget, we are running the 25 Days of Pood Miss, so daily giveaway winners to be expected. I will be announcing the other two winners in some video today, so that will cover up two days ago and yesterday, because I was behind on those two, so I'm going to be doing those two winners. I already picked the first winner, which was announced a while ago. He already claimed his reward. So remember, the only the way you got to enter is really, really simple. You go down below, you hit that subscribe button, you comment down below the secret word you're going to hear throughout this video, and you hit the like button. Once you do those three things, you are entered to win. And like I said, the only reason I'm doing sub to win is because I don't want random people who just click on my vids every day, just coming here, taking the rewards and leaving. So make sure you're sub to the family, comment, like, and make sure to hit that, I mean, type that secret word that I will say sometime throughout this video. So stay tuned for that. Now that pretty much wraps it all up. Let's get into this video. So first things first, what am I doing right now? I'm doing a mixture of seasons and weekend league. That's like the first thing I'm focused on right now. And that is because, or even solo battles, because I have 510 trophies. I really want that John Madden collectible. And there's our final week of series four uh three so for all you guys who don't know there is this checklist of series regression with the series and multiplayer wins and i'm really behind on them but i can get these easy trophies real quick so if i can play like 25 to 30 games between the now and next week i could potentially get upwards of like 200 plus trophies plus the series wins i could easily pull or get close to that john madden that i want so i'm kind of trying to get my last minute trophies in also trying to get my last minute series three stuff in like if you haven't gotten the dev mccordy yet and you want that you only have a week left and the, the beauty of this though, I mean, again, is that John Madden won't disappear if you don't get him. He'll just be transferred over to the next series. It's not a big deal, but I don't really feel like losing half my trophies and I have to start over again to get him. So I'm kind of hoping I can transfer it or convert it over. Now, even if I can't make it all the way, at least I'll have half the trophies for the next master in case it's really good. So even if I don't make it all the way, it's still good to get your last objective trophies because the objective trophies are more than likely the easiest trophies you're going to get in every series every single time so if you do plan on picking up the series for master or if you hope that it'll be good you could just get your trophies up like for me if i get it up to like 800 900 and it goes to half i'll be close to 500 again so i'll be pretty close to getting him quickly and even with that if you play enough you can maybe even get the, the auctionable one and then you can auction for like over a million coins because that's typically what they go for initially and it'll probably be like a 95 96 overall so you can expect that it'll be pretty amazing so that's kind of the route i'm taking right now i'm looking towards a way to get my trophies up as quickly as possible while also bringing up my coin stack which does help because when you play weekend league solo battles and seasons your coin stack is naturally just flying up with that as well so it kind of works both ways now i do have a pack opening ready to go i'm saving the packs for when the christmas drops i'll probably bring my coins up too now what else could you really be doing i'm wrapping up some solo challenges that i haven't got to finish yet guys sadly i know it sucks to say this i still haven't finished my mud hero solos i want to get those done so i can get my free player is uh so i can go ahead and use him somewhere even if it's snatch want to toss him. maybe david decastro so i can sell my david decastro just a quick way to get some coins back make sure you are playing your team of the week solos as you guys do know these are part of the token set that you're going to need at the end of the year for team of the year tokens now i recommend you get this done because if you do not get this done now you and you miss one of them you don't screw yourself you can miss i mean don't don't quote me on this but in years past you're usually able to miss like two or three of them and they will make do makeup solos but do not take that chance because they were very stern on mutt 10 this year so i do not want to take that chance again also make sure you're playing your nfl 100 solos because those as well are limited solos so hopefully you have not missed one of those because i will those will account for one free nfl 100 player at the end of six weeks and i believe we're on our third week as of today so we're almost there already this one went really quick it felt quicker at least the mutt 10 did and also you want to be playing these specific solos down here so the journey nfl 100 part two you come over to milestones at the end you do get a journey to completion token and then to go on with that too you want to play your gauntlet solos at the end of the gauntlet solos you get a gauntlet one expert token now i don't know when we will get the final rewards for these but in years past the gauntlet and the journey tokens have been used in sets that released on certain like on series four or five or whatever that we're able to use to get a master player which is an amazing player i remember a year ago he did like the you got to put them all in you got like a legend player it was like a 93 overall you know like sean taylor 
Lorenzo Neal, Steve Hutchinson. There was quite a few options. Now, I don't know how they're going to do it this year. I don't know if the journey and Garland will be put together, if they'll be separate. But without those tokens, you will not be able to get the master players. Obviously, you can do it on your own time whenever you want. But it's going to suck when it comes out and your player's right there. Now you got to go back and play 100 solos you need to do. So I'd recommend you start getting them done slowly but surely. I mean, I'll, I mean, I think I finished most of them. I just got to get like the final star on some of these. So three stars there. I got to get like three, 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 one, one. I, I kind of just got to go up to a few solos that I never got to finish. So right here alone, this will be like 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. I can get like 30 off this one alone. And then I need a total of 150, I believe. So that does mean I probably need to get five stars in every single one. So I probably have to play like a total of like 10 to 14 solos on hard. Secret word for today's video is Christmas. Comment down below Christmas, hit that subscribe button, like the video, and comment your console and your entrance win. That is all. And just get them done. It's not going to be too hard, but I recommend you get that done because, like I said, it's going to suck when the time comes and you're not there. Now, NFL week 1 1, week 2, week 3. Now, I believe they said that you get something free at the end of these, but the issue with these is, right? Aren't they supposed to be gone? I thought that you weren't allowed to play them after a certain time, and it appears that you still can, which that's good for us, because I mean, I guess that means everyone's going to get one, so I'm not really complaining about it. But I thought there were going to be times you weren't going to do them, but that's cool, because if you guys haven't done them, I mean, I don't know if it's like supposed to still be there, but it is, it's been there. Make sure you're getting those done in case they maybe at the three week mark they cut off those and then you have to play the next three. I just wouldn't really take a chance with it. It does say complete all the challenge over the six week programs during that Centennial Fantasy Pack, so. I'd recommend you get that done. Get your team of the week done. Those are the ones you want to be. Those are important ones. Team of the week and NFL 100 time. Like you have limited time to do those. You know that that one's gonna be six weeks, and then team of the week obviously is every week. So make sure you're just getting those all done. Now, when it comes to weekend league, like I was saying, you don't have to be great at weekend league. Like if I literally last week played like seven games. I won like seven games. I didn't get to finish it. I got a 15 times gold player pack. And if you guys want to see what I pulled from that 15 times gold player pack, it's pretty decent coins. Like that's seven wins. That was nothing. Look what I got. And this wasn't even a great pack. I got Emmett Smith 84, 83 Terrell Owens, 85 Ken Houston, 80 Eddie Goldman, 72 David DeCastro, I believe that was an 81 uh, Brandon Mc, McDougald. So that's like probably like what, 15, 20, like I probably got like 40 to 50k worth of stuff just for playing some weekly, plus the game wins, plus the coin quick sells, plus the trophies, you get a decent amount of stuff back. And that's if you're like horrendous, like that's just like a few wins you gotta get out of, 20, out of 25. It's really not that hard to do, especially people quit easily. If you play on Sunday, or if you play like Monday, I like to play Monday mornings. If you go on at like 7, 6 a.m. on a Monday morning before it closes at 10.30, people, like, if you get one touchdown, they quit because they just want to get their final wins and they don't, they're not going for anything. They're just playing last minute. They're in a rush. So that's definitely a great time to play sometimes if you just want a few easy wins. But for a whole, as a whole, I'd be getting the stuff done because you definitely going to need coins. The Christmas promo is going to require a tremendous amount of coins to make coins. Though. It's not like it's going to cost coins like just to throw away. You can make a tremendous amount of coins on the Christmas promo, but you're going to need coins. So you're going to need to buy snowflakes or the currency, and you're going to want presents. Now, presents are the most fun part, I think, ever, in Madden. Like, presents are the most fun part of Madden probably the whole year. So you're going to definitely want coins ready to go when it comes to actually do this because if you do not, you're going to feel left behind. Now, presents last year probably averaged at around like 20K per present, 25K per present. Obviously, we'll do the conversion training rate or the conversion snowflake rate when the time comes. But it was around 20 to 25K per, I believe. It was like 125 snowflakes or 250 snowflakes. I forgot which one for each present, which converted out to like 25K per present, which was not, that was actually a pretty good rate in my opinion, considering the pullback ratio. But it's not like you can just open three for your only, you can open three for 75K, which is your only 75K. You're not guaranteed to pull anything. You open up 500K of them, you'll probably pull something. So you kind of need coins to do this. You're gonna need a decent amount of coins at minimum. So I, I just recommend you guys have that done. Now I've had this sitting here for quite a while. I kind of want to open it. It's just been staring me at the face. Let me open that real quick. I have the 150 sitting on the account. Let's see if we can pull anything decent. We get a, I don't know what the animations look like here, but we do get an 84 Bradley Roby. Okay. Yeah, that's just been sitting there for quite a while. It's been staring me in the face. Let's see what that goes for. But I think that kind of wraps up what I want to really cover in this video. For the most part, I wasn't really looking to, like, I'm not, I'm not really looking to do much at this moment. I'm looking to prepare for the next moment. You know what I'm saying? There's a, like, you're obviously doing stuff now. It's weekend league solo battles, solo challenges covering up the objectives but you're doing this all so you're ready for next week because the worst thing as a madden player to be quite, quite honest with you guys is when you don't prepare this week and then you get screwed next week and this week you're like i'm not gonna sell that stuff i'm not gonna play those solos i'm not gonna play weekend like screw that two you know friday drops harvest harvest or the christmas promo drops everything drops you're like oh my god i need to sell things for coins i need to, I need to go play my solos i need to go do this oh my i didn't do my team of the week solos yet and then you're overwhelmed wow oh, that was 15k you have there's, there's literally nothing you can do you're so behind then you got work in school and then before you know it you're behind in the promo and before you can actually catch up the promo's over and nothing's expensive anymore you want to be able to hop on things get get done with things that you otherwise had wouldn't have finished that week because i'm telling you the week of big promos there's a few things i don't do i barely play weekend league the big of uh, the week of big promos i barely play seasons 
I barely can play solo challenges. I can barely get this, this trophy grind going. Get that all going now. We have a whole week. So we think. So we, unless they drop a bomb on us out of nowhere. But as of now, we have a whole week of like Madden Limbo. We can relax. We can play solos. We can do seasons. I'm, that's why I'm getting my grind up. I gotta get my trophies up. My trophies are way too low. I've gotten, I haven't even passed a thousand this whole, this whole series. I've barely been able to play a lot of Madden this series. I've been making, I've been caring more about videos, obviously, which is good for the channel and all. But guys, that is about it for the video. Hope you guys do enjoy. If you guys have heard the secret word already, if you haven't, go back and go find it. But if you did, all you gotta do is comment that down below, hit that subscribe button, comment your console that you're playing on, and like the video. Once you do those things, you're it, you're done, you're, you're entered to win. Remember, this will be on every video per day, so make sure you go out to every video for your best chance of winning. If you enter on all four videos, that's technically four entries, and whichever video I pick, you're definitely entered for. So subscribe, comment the secret word, your console, and like the video, and you're entered to win. Thank you guys so much for watching. Watch today's video so you can see which one I announced the winners on. I'm out. See you guys in the next video. Peace.